Yes, I am live now. Oh, welcome once again to another new video. This is Santu Sahu and you are watching Sahu's tutorial. And in this YouTube video, I will be covering some important MCQ questions from classical literature for the upcoming MPSET exam. And I will be covering, okay, 30 important MCQ questions on classical literature for the upcoming MPSET exam. This is day 4. Earlier I had discussed okay, some important MCQ questions, so okay, kind of mock test. And earlier I had discussed okay, in three videos okay, probably 100 MCQ questions along with explanation. And in this YouTube video, I'll be covering another 30 important classical literature MCQ questions that are very important questions for the upcoming MPSET exam. So those who are interested, so okay, you can join the session. Please do join the sessions and send me the confirmation. See if everything is okay. And I'll be starting the sessions. So it is a kind of a mock test for the upcoming MPC exam. And I'll be covering some important MCP questions and classical literature. This is day four. Earlier three videos I had discussed probably 100 important MCP questions along with explanation. And I definitely these questions will definitely help you to crack the exam. And watch this session till the end because it is going to be a very fruitful session. So you will definitely boost up your confidence, okay? And uh, do join the Telegram channel that is Santu Shahu UG Senate for the PDF. You can join the Telegram channel that is Santu Shahu UGC Net. Okay. So without wasting your time, let's begin the sessions. Before starting the session, this is my humble request to all of you. Please make sure you to subscribe to the channel and tap the bell icon to get more notification that I will upload in this channel. So do join those who have not joined yet. You can watch this session later. You can watch this session later. Okay, that will be in the playlist. And the playlist is that MP MPC English literature mock test. Okay. Okay, you will get all the videos okay in that playlist. Hmm. Visit that playlist, you will get all those videos. So here is your first question. Okay. Good evening, Ram. Good evening. So here is your first question. Good evening. And here is your first question okay, on your screen. Uh, the first question is on your screen here. Which tragedy by Euripides tells the story of Medea? Okay. A woman who seeks revenge against her unfaithful husband. The Trojan women, the Bacchae, Medea, Electra. We will be covering Ascylus, A, Ascylus, Sophocles, and Euripides. Okay. Even Aristophanes and some questions on Iliad and Odyssey, okay? Cascaira, okay. Sophocles, Euripides, Aristophanes, then Meander, okay? Then Iliad and Odyssey and Parjis and Eid, okay? We'll be covering, okay, 30 important MCQ questions on Ascaira, Sophocles, Euripides, Aristophanes, Meander, and then Iliad and Odyssey as well, okay? So here is your first question here. Here is your first question on your screen. Please do answer in the comment box. And I hope this question definitely help you, okay? Okay, to crack any, any exam, okay, in the upcoming exam. Okay, so the first question is your, what would be the right answer here? Euripides, which tragedy of Euripides, okay, tell the story of media. A woman who seeks, okay, Swati, excellent. It is Swati, excellent, okay. I try to understand Rao and Swati, those who are watching, okay. And to be honest, these questions are okay, very much important for any exams, okay, like any state exam and even for UGC net exam. Many a time I have told everyone that the syllabus of UGC net and state exam is same. So these questions are really, really important questions, okay. Okay. So it is Euripides media, okay. If you prepare daily like this, okay, then when you will complete, okay your MA, then you will be able to understand that okay, what, you have, what you have acquired, okay, you have acquired many uh, things, okay, day by day. So, stay tuned with these channels, I hope these questions will definitely help you in future, okay. And uh, it is my uh, honest review, okay. So, it is actually media. Excellent, excellent Swati, it is media. Moving on to question number two here, okay. Who is the author of the famous Latin phrase, okay, huge pictoria poesis, okay, Virgil, Ovid, Horace, Cicero. Who is the author of the famous Latin phrase? Okay. The Latin phrase here you see that it pictura poesis. Okay. Virgil, Ovid, Horace, Cicero. And he is actually saying that picture is very similar to that poem. 
who is the author of the famous Latin phrase? Okay, Ut Pictura Poesis. Virgil, Ovid, Horace, Cicero. What would be the right answer here? What would be the right answer here? Virgil, Ovid, and Horace. Okay, sir. Do answer in the comment box. Do answer in the comment box. Okay, if you know. And if you don't know, please write. Okay. Hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Now you, are, now you are giving the answer of question number two, is it? You are giving the answer of question number two. Now, is it? Okay. Yeah, excellent. It is Horace. Okay. It is Horace. It is Horace actually. Hmm. It is Horace. Hmm. The author Horace has actually has given the Latin phrase actually. You picture poesis, okay. Okay. Yeah, then it then it definitely it is Horace. Horace is the right answer. Horace is the right answer. And you see the Latin phrase, okay. You picture of poesis is an analogy, okay, that Horace introduced, okay, in his Ars Poetica to tentatively compare the art of painting with that of poetry. So there is no difference of the painting and the poetry. According to Horace, okay, that is Ars, in his Ars Poetica, he tentatively compared the art of painting with that of poetry. This is the Latin phrase, you picture of poetry, is an analogy, okay, comparison. And what is analogy? Analogy means comparison, okay, got it? Okay, and here is your question number third. The comedic playwright, okay, Aristophanes wrote in the genre of old comedy, okay? So, Aristophanes is no, known for old comedy, okay? Now, which playwright was an early pioneer of new comedy? So, you know, Aristophanes has written old comedy. So, you have to remember that old comedy was written by Aristophanes, whereas, which playwright was an early pioneer of the new comedy? Meander, Sappho, Julian, Sophocles. New comedy. Who is the proponent, the main proponent of new comedy? What would be the right answer here? Those who are watching. What would be the right answer here? The comedian playwright Aristophanes wrote in the genre of old comedy. Which playwright was an early pioneer of the new comedy? Hmm. Excellent, excellent, fantastic, fantastic. Okay. Swati, Rao, fantastic. It is Meander. Okay. So Aristophanes is known for old comedy, whereas Meander is known for known for new comedy. Excellent. So it is it is M. Okay. Meander. A is the right answer. Excellent. Excellent. Well done. Now that is your question number four. Okay. How did Oedipus okay become the king of thieves? Okay. He defeated a rival king in a battle. He solved the riddle of the Sphinx. He inherited the throne from his father or he married the previous queen. How did Oedipus become the king of Thebes? He defeated a rival king in a battle. He solved the riddle of the Sphinx or he inherited the throne from his father or he married the previous queen. How did Oedipus become the king of Thebes? No. Actually, Oedipus even did not know, okay? Did not know, okay? Who was his father? Who was his mother, okay? So, no. He actually, after solving the reading, uh, riddle of Sphinx, okay? After solving the riddle of Sphinx, Oedipus became the king of Thebes, okay? Excellent Swati. It is B, okay. He solved the riddle of the Sphinx, okay. Mm. He even did not know who was his father, okay. After killing his father and then he married, okay, his mother. So this is the Oedipus, okay. He solved the riddle of Sphinx and he became the king of Oedipus. So here B is the right answer. What prophecy, okay, did Oedipus unknowingly fulfill? What prophecy? So there is a prophecy that Oedipus will unknowingly fulfill, okay? And then when he will come to know, that is the anagnosis, okay? That he has married his own mother. He has married his own mother, okay? So the course of the 
play will come to know that he has married his own mother after killing his father lies ठीक है so what prophecy did Oedipus unknowingly fulfill he would kill his father and marry his mother he would become a great king of thieves he would solve the riddle of the sphinx or he would bring prosperity to the kingdom excellent excellent swati and rao it is actually the prophecy that he would someday one day he will kill his father and will marry his mother excellent so a is the right answer is the a okay excellent moving on to question number 6 here moving on to question number 6 here ascylus is best known for his trilogy of plays known as the orestia trilogy the theban trilogy the trojan war cycle and the persians aise yaad rakhna ascii writers theek hai ascylus sophocles euripides theek hai and on the other hand there are spa writers theek hai spa socrates plato aristotle theek hai so here ascylus is best known for his trilogy of plays and yeah got it swati the orestia the theban plays the trojan war cycle the persian hmm hmm excellent hmm excellent it is the orestia trilogy and the first play is agamemnon then the lives and bearers and the last one is eumenides it is having okay it, is, it consists of three plays that is actually the first play is agamemnon then uh, lives and bearers and the last one is Uh, that is humanities. Okay, these are the three plays of this Orestia trilogy written by Aeschylus, dealing with the killing of killing of Agamemnon by by his wife Clytemnestra. By his wife, the wife okay kills okay the husband Agamemnon because Agamemnon has sacrificed okay his own daughter. Agamemnon has sacrificed his own daughter okay. That's why Clytemnestra uh, had taken okay avenge okay. Hmm. by killing by killing by killing uh, that is agamemnon okay which of the following okay play is not attributed to aeschylus the prometheus bound agamemnon medea the suppliant maidens okay which of the following plays is not attributed to aeschylus we'll be covering 30 questions only okay today okay so this is question number 7 okay do like the session and share your friends okay Which of the following plays is not attributed to Aeschylus? Prometheus Bound, Agamemnon, Medea, and the Suppliant Maidens. Okay. Which is not attributed to Aeschylus? Which is not attributed to Aeschylus? Now, this is one of the famous uh, work by Aeschylus, actually. Rao. Prometheus Bound is actually a work by Aeschylus. This is a famous work by Aeschylus. Okay, Agamemnon is a part of that. Okay. Suppliant Maidens was also written by Aeschylus. Whereas Medea, Medea is written by Euripides. Medea is written by Euripides. Okay, Euripides has written okay Medea, female character, the title of the character Medea, Euripides, Medea. Okay, so Medea is the right answer. Rao. Okay, Medea is not written by Aeschylus. Okay. Yeah, hmm. Got it now. Got it now, Rao. It is excellent. It is C. Okay. In Aeschylus play, okay, the Persians. Okay. Another play by another play by Aeschylus is the Persians. Okay. Another play by Aeschylus is actually Persians. Okay. Got it. The tragedy revolves around okay the aftermath of the Trojan War, the conflict between Athens and Sparta, the Persian invasion of Greece, the downfall of the house of Atlas. Okay. Atlas. In Aeschylus play, the Persians, the tragedy revolves around the aftermath of the Trojan War, Trojan War, the conflict between the Athens and Sparta, the Persian invasion of Greece, the downfall of the house of the Artis. In Aeschylus play, the Persians, the tragedy revolves around. Aeschylus has written the Odyssey trilogy, the Persians, Prometheus, Bound, so you see it is the Persian invasion of Greece, okay, 
the Persian invasion of Greece. Okay, the Persians revolves around the Persian invasion of Greece. Okay, so C is the answer. Who is the author of the Aristotelian? Euripides, Sophocles, Aeschylus, Aristophanes. This is very easy. Who is the author of the Aristotelian? Who is the author of the Aristotelian? Now moving on to question number nine here. Question number nine is on your screen. Aristotelian. Euripides, Sophocles, Aeschylus, Aristophanes. Who is the author of the Aristotelian? It is, it is, hmm. got it, Aeschylus, Aeschylus, Swati and Rao, excellent, this Aeschylus has written Aristotelian, okay, okay, got it. Moving on to question number 10 here, okay. The Aristotelian deals with the story of Odysseus, Achilles, Oedipus, Agamemnon. The Aristotelian written by Aeschylus deals with the story of Odysseus, Achilles, Oedipus, Agamemnon. The Aristotelian deals with the story of Odysseus, Achilles, Oedipus, Agamemnon. Earlier I had discussed these questions, okay? When I was explaining our questions. Deals with the story of, hmm, hmm, excellent, Rob. Excellent. It deals with the story of, it deals with the story of Agamemnon, the killing of Agamemnon by his wife. Clemenstra. Excellent. Deals with Agamemnon is the first play. Okay. Then the Levison bearers. Okay. The Levison bearers. And the last one is actually Eumenides. So these are the three parts of Aristotelology. We have to question 11 here. Okay. The Aristotelology exposes the theme of Love and Homer's war and conflict, comedy and satire, scientific discovery. The Orestia trilogy explores the theme of love and romance, war and conflict, comedy and satire, and scientific discovery. The Orestia trilogy by Aeschylus, exploring the themes of love and romance, war and conflict, comedy and satire, and scientific discovery. Question number 11 is on your screen. Do answer in the comment box. Do answer in the box. Question number 11. Question number 11 is on your screen. Do answer in the box. Question number 11 is on your screen. Do answer in the box. Question number 11 is on your screen. Do answer in the box. Question number 11 is on your screen. Do answer in the box. This is important question. Okay. What is Queen Clemenstra's motivation for planning Agamemnon's murder? Okay. What is Queen Clemenstra's okay, motivation for planning? Hmm. To answer B. Yeah, got it wrong. Excellent. It is B. Yeah, it was B actually. Okay. What is uh, Queen Clemenstra's motivation for planning Agamemnon's murder? To avenge the daughter's sacrifice. To protect her husband from the external threats, to gain more power in the kingdom, to bring peace and stability to the realm. Earlier I had discussed this question. Okay. What is Queen Clemenester's motivations for planning for planning a remembrance murder? The Queen Clemenester is planning to murder her own husband. Why she was doing so? Why was she doing so? Why was she planning to kill her own husband? To avenge her daughter's sacrifice, to protect her husband from external threats, to gain more power in the kingdom, or to bring peace here and stability to the will. What will be the right answer here? No. A few minutes ago I had discussed, a few minutes ago that Agamemnon had actually sacrificed his own daughter, okay, to please a god 
and that's why here the wife here okay clemenestra is avenging her daughter's sacrifice okay for his father's for her father's sake okay. so that's why you can uh, a is the to avenge daughter's sacrifice avenge who does queen clemenestra want to publicly embrace after agamemnon's death okay after the death of agamemnon's okay who does queen clemenestra want to publicly embrace okay? after agamemnon's death okay? that is actually her long lover her daughter iphigenia her long time lover okay asicus then her loyal advisor or agamemnon's brother so it is actually her long time lover is thus you know so this is b is the right answer next question question number 14 is on screen okay do answer this is an important question this is an important question okay one of the first works of literary criticism ever created that is the fox it is poking fun at the giants of greek playwriting like euripides and aeschylus the frog is actually poking fun at the great playwrights like euripides and aeschylus got it a comedy rather than a typical tragedy okay the work pits the two writers against one another in an imagined battle to see who is the base tragic poet who is the what is the title the base tragic poet so they are quarreling okay who is the base tragic poet with dash serving as judge now in that a battle okay between then euripides and aeschylus okay a person uh, you can say a god actually he is serving a god actually he is serving the other judge okay between euripides and aeschylus was it paris dionysus aphrodite aphrodite or homer who was serving as a judge okay when euripides and aeschylus were fighting fighting there is a fighting war a uh, fighting of words okay words word is words and here it is actually uh dionysus okay dionysus actually was serving as a judge okay between euripides and aeschylus euripides and aeschylus written by aristophanes okay the play focuses on the peloponnesian war so this is important this is again another important question okay this is again another important question so written by aristophanes okay this play is focusing on the peloponnesian war take okay? a peloponnesian war yaad rakhna peloponnesian war the story revolves around the titular character the titular character is same okay the story is revolving around the titular character a women who calls for women across the empire to withhold sexual gratification to withhold sexual gratification from their husbands until until they find a way to negotiate peace in the ongoing war so the women were actually calling the other women across the empire to withhold sexual gratification from their husbands until they find a way to end the war and until they find to negotiate peace okay in the ongoing war and what was the name of the war the name of the war is peloponnesian war that means the title character was wanting to end the peloponnesian war the eurotons are the frogs lysistrata the clouds the wasps in which war aristophanes okay. Aristophanes, this is actually, you see, it is very easy actually. The fox is different, the clouds is different, the wasp is different, and this is Tatai actually the titular character, the titular character, the hero, the main protagonist of this part. This is Tatai actually 
calling the other women of that empire to withhold sexual gratification from their husbands so that till they find a way to negotiate the negotiate peace in the ongoing war to end the war. So this is Lysistrata. Yad rakhna, Lysistrata is the famous one. Lysistrata is the famous one of After 465 BC, playwright began as using a backdrop or scenic wall called the skinny theatron, sinecion or sention. After 465 BC, playwrights began using a backdrop or scenic wall. And what was the, what, what was its name? Okay. A backdrop or a scenic wall. What is a skin, a theatron, a skinny con, a skinny tear, or a sign tear. Sorry, skin tear, huh? skin tear. After 465 BC, playwrights began using a backdrop or scenic wall called the and here it is actually the skinny. Okay, so A is the right option. It is known as skinny. And here is the explanation you see skinny. In 465 BC, the playwrights began using a backdrop or scenic wall which hung, which hung or stood behind the orchestra, which also served as an area where actors could change their costumes. It is known as skin or skinny uh, or skin, skinny or skin, okay. But that is the costume that is changed. That is, yeah. In 465 BC, the playwrights began using a backdrop or a scenic wall, which hung or stood behind the orchestra, which also served as an area where actors could change their costumes in the skin, okay. Next question, okay. Who is the protagonist of the Oedipus Rex? Now tell me. Now this is an easy question. Okay. Laius, Jocasta, Oedipus, the Sphinx. The protagonist of Oedipus Rex. Do answer. The protagonist of Oedipus Rex. The protagonist of Oedipus Rex. Do answer. The protagonist of Oedipus Rex. Excellent. Excellent Vipro. Okay. Excellent Vipro. It is actually Oedipus. Oedipus is the protagonist of the hmm. Oedipus. Chalo. Excellent. Worlds in Collision. Worlds in Collision is the first book written by whom? And he has also written the book Ages in Chaos. Emmanuel Velkovsky, Italo Calvino, David Gutterson and Quintilian. Worlds in Collision is the first book written by whom and that author has also written another work that is Ages in Chaos. Your options are Emmanuel Velkovsky, Talo Calvino, David Gutterson and Quintilian who has written Worlds in Collision. He has also written Ages in Chaos. Ages in Chaos. What would be the right answer here? I'll be covering 30 important MCQ questions on classical literature for the upcoming MPSET exam. And these questions are even beneficial for AD Senate exam and even for any other PG exams. Yeah, no, it is not Quintilian. It is not Quintilian. It is actually Emmanuel Velkowski. Take it. Emmanuel Velkowski. Okay. Now it is actually Emmanuel Velkowski has written, okay, Worlds in Collision and Ages in Chaos. So Emmanuel Velkowski is the right answer. Got it? Okay. And here you see Worlds in Collision is a book by Emmanuel Velkowski published in 1950. Okay, got it, Vipra. Okay. The book the, the book postulates okay that around the 15th century BC, the planet Venus was ejected from Jupiter as a comet or comet-like object and passed near the Earth. Worlds in Collision is a book by Emmanuel Velkowski and you see here that published in 1950, the book postulates that, postulates that around the 15th century BC, the planet Venus was ejected from Jupiter as a comet or comet-like object and it, is, it has passed near the Earth. So Emmanuel Velkowski has written Worlds in Collision Walls in collision and ages in chaos. 
Uh, this is an important question as well. The Hayesian writer and playwright Felix Morcio Leri translated and adapted Antigone okay, into Hayesian crayon under the which title Antigone, 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 Antigone. The Hayesian writer and playwright Felix Morcio Leri translated and adapted Antigone into Hayesian crayon under the which title. Options are Antigone, Antigones, Antigone, and Antigone. I had discussed this question so in any of my videos, earlier videos. What would be the right answer here? You two response. If you don't know, then also response, okay. Okay. The Haitian writer and playwright Felix Morsi Levy translated and adapted okay, Antigone into Haitian Creole under the free title. Antigone Antigone. So okay. I'm omitting here okay. So Antigone, Antigone, Antigone. So it is actually Antigone. Okay. Antigone is the right answer. Okay. Antigone is the right answer. And looks at the explanation here. The Creole Renaissance is a movement which established Creole as a legitimate literary language. Started in large book by in large part by authors like Felix Morsi Levy, who started so he's going to like Creole Renaissance. Creole Renaissance, the main proponent is Felix Morsi Levy, okay? who struggled successfully to make Haitian Creole to make Haitian Creole the literary, uh, uh, literary educational and official language of Haiti. And he has actually written this, okay, Antigone, okay, okay? Antigone, translator. So, what is the meaning of the Latin phrase, okay? What is the meaning of the Latin phrase, okay? That is UT Victory of Poesies by Horace, Horace in Ars Poetica. What is the meaning of the Latin phrase, okay? UT Pictura, Pictura, Poesies, okay? As its sculpture is so paint, so its painting. As its music, so its poetry. Or as its painting, so its poetry. Or as its literature, so its philosophy. What is the meaning of the Latin phrase, UT Pictura, Poesies, okay? I have discussed this question in the beginning of the in the beginning of the session. Okay, I had already discussed these questions. In the beginning of the session, I had already discussed these questions. Okay, what is the meaning of the Latin phrase? Okay, to picture of poesis as sculpture is so painting. Hmm. Excellent. Excellent. No. 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 Sorry. 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 Excellent, Rob. Excellent. Ra, excellent to see. So as its painting is so poetry. Excellent. As its painting is as as, uh, as its painting, so its poetry. Okay. So here C is the right answer. Okay. In Euripides play, the Vaki. So Euripides has written the Vaki. Okay. The god Dionysus plays a significant role. What was Dionysus the god of? What was Dionysus the god of? He was god of war, wine and festivities, wisdom and knowledge, love and beauty. In Euripides' play, the fact the god Dionysus plays a significant role. What was Dionysus the god of? Dionysus was god of the war, wine and festivities, wisdom and knowledge, love and beauty. Okay, got it. Got it, Vipra. Got it. Excellent. Excellent. Dionysus was actually hmm, God of Wine and Festivities. Excellent, Vipra. Excellent. So it is Wine and Festivities. Okay. Excellent. Moving on to question number 22 here. Euripides play, Euripides play media explores the theme of revenge, love and passion, fate and destiny, war and conflict. The media, media, Euripides media explores the theme of revenge, love and passion, fate and destiny, war and conflict. The theme of Orestia trilogy is war and conflict. And here, Euripides play media exploring the theme of revenge, love and passion, fate and destiny, uh, fate and destiny, war and conflict okay and here 
the right answer could be could be what hmm. yeah got it media excellent ra it is revenge okay revenge is the explore the theme the main theme of media you repeat is media yeah but here you see it is the revenge okay T revenge if you see about the media is okay revenge so it is revenge actually no it is revenge repeat is play electra tells the story of electra seeking but but you are absolutely true electra you are absolutely true but in the, but here you see here it is actually revenge okay ठीक है Euripides play Electra tells the story of Electra okay Euripides play Electra tells the story of Electra seeking revenge for the murder of her father king Agamemnon who killed Agamemnon earlier i discussed this question so okay Euripides play Electra tells the story of Electra seeking revenge for the murder of her father that is king Agamemnon who killed Agamemnon Clymenestra Agathos Yes, 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 yes. You are allowed to make mistakes. Okay, don't worry. And I think you are new to this channel, is it? So here, hmm, yeah, his wife, his wife, and that is actually hmm, Clymenestra, and Clymenestra's lover was Agathas. Okay, so it is actually Clymenestra. Clymenestra, excellent. His wife. Killed. Here is the right answer. You repeat this play, and you are from which district of West Bengal? You are from which district of West Bengal? You are from which district of West Bengal? I think you are from West Bengal. You repeat this play. The wacky centers around the worship of which god? Euripides play the wacky centers around the old sea of which god? Zeus, Apollo, Dionysus, Hermes. Again, the same questions repeated here. Hmm. Nadia, and where do you study? In which college or in which university? Do you study in college or university? Yeah, Dionysus actually. Yeah. You repeat it, split the back. It centers around the old sea of which god? It is actually Dionysus. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. It is C. C is the right answer. Well done. Well done, both of you. Bravo and Vipra. Excellent. Okay. And you see the back is a Greek parody by Euripides that was first performed okay, in 405 BC. The play takes place in Thebes and tells the story of the god Dionysus who has traveled across Asia collecting followers before returning to Thebes to punish his mother's family for speaking badly of her. Okay. In the Odyssey, Odysseus faces many challenges on his journey, uh, on his journey to home from the Trojan War. How long does his journey last? In the Odyssey, Odysseus faces many challenges on his journey to home from the Trojan War. How long does his journey last? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So do, you stay, do you stay at uh, hostel? I know very well for Kalyan University. Last month, and last month I had visited Kalyan University. So in the Odyssey, Odysseus okay, faces many challenges on his journey home, on his journey to home from the Trojan War. So after the Trojan War. When the Trojan War was being completed, okay, then okay, he was uh, trying to return, okay, his home 
but yeah okay yeah excellent it is 10 years okay 10 years is the right answer here yeah. yeah 10 10 10 10 is the right answer excellent excellent hmm. in the any okay what is any any and before you please uh, uh, just watch all the sessions okay these are also beneficial for even for any pgt exam okay uh, any uh, pg entrance exam sorry any pg entrance exam watch all the series okay that will be beneficial so. okay in the any okay in the any okay any is a trojan okay trojan hero who escapes the destruction of troy who escapes the destruction of troy now where does he ultimately settle? कहाँ पे जाके settle होता है? Battle का Ennis. The Ennis जो के Ennis जो Trojan hero who escapes the destruction of Troy. Where does he ultimately settle? Greece, Italy, Egypt, Spain. Okay. Now he has actually settled okay in Italy. Where is destined? Where is destined? He is destined to Italy. Okay. Hmm. Rome. Yeah. Exactly. And they uh, at that time uh, in that place okay, he will found. It, he will okay found that. Okay. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Vipra. Which of the following work is not written by Plato? The Symposium, the Apology of Socrates. Then the family, then the Nicomachean ethics. Which of the following work is not written by Plato? The Symposium, the Apology of Socrates, then Phaedon, and Nicomachean ethics. Nicomachean ethics. Which of the following works is not written by Plato? You may say, Consta work Plato ne nahi likha hai. You may say, Consta work. Plato Dwara Nahil. Which of the following is not okay, written by Plato? Look, Plato has written Symposium, Apology for Apology of Socrates, was also written by Plato. Phaedo is also written by Phaedo, whereas Nicomachean Ethics was written by Aristotle. It was by Aristotle. Okay? Aristotle has written Nicomachean Ethics. Okay. So here D is the right answer. Okay. D is the Right yeah, Rao, excellent is D. Mm -hmm. Rao is D, excellent, excellent. In the Iliad, who kills Hector? Achilles, Paris, Priam, Patroclus. Who had killed Hector? In the Iliad, okay, who kills Hector? Achilles, Paris, Priam, and Astroclus. Hmm, excellent, excellent. It is Achilles, and Achilles' friend is Patroclus. Okay, it is Achilles. Achilles has killed okay in Iliad Hector. Achilles is the answer. Okay. Twenty-nine is on the screen. If liberty and equality, as thought by some, are cheaply to be found. Hmm. Excellent. In democracy, they will be best attend when all persons alike share in government to the utmost. Which quoted here? And he is here talking about democracy. He is talking about democracy here. If liberty and equality, as is thought by some, are chiefly to be found in democracy, they will be best attend when all persons alike share in the government to the utmost. Plato, Socrates, Aristotle, Longinus. Which quoted here in the above? Sentences in the above sentences, who each quoted here? Uh, 
and let me tell you here the right answer is actually Aristotle. Here Aristotle is quoted here and Aristotle is talking about the democracy. It is Aristotle, okay. Before it is actually uh, Aristotle, okay. And to end up the session, today's last question is on your screen. I will be ending this session share with this question share. Flies a 1943 play by John Falser modernized which Greek myth by introducing the theme of existentialism. The fly is a famous work by John Falser. It is, a, it is published in the year 1943 and modernized, it has modernized actually which Greek myth by introducing the theme of existentialism. Oedipus myth, Electra myth, Antigone myth, Namadayapa. Those who are new to this channel, please do join the Telegram channel. That is Santu Shahu. UGC net. And you will get daily updates regarding the classes. You will get daily quizzes. And sometimes you will get also PDF. Do join this Telegram channel for the details. Okay. Santu Shao UGC net UGC net and what would be the right answer here? The fly is actually a famous from the popular work by John Paul Sartre. It was published in 1943. It has modernized which Greek myth by introducing the third theme of existentialism. Oedipus myth, Electra myth, Antigone myth, none of the above. So here it is actually B by by employing here electron. So electron it is the modernized switch being made it is the electron and here is the explanation yeah electron it electron made with the right answer here the flight is a play by Dr. Sutte produced in 1943 it is actually an adaptation it is an adaptation of the Electra myth previously used by the Greek playwrights Sophocles, Ascylus, and Euripides. Okay, the fly is a play by John Paul Sartre, produced in 1943. It is an adaptation of the Electra myth previously used by the Greek playwrights like Sophocles, Ascylus, and Euripides. And this ko kaise yaad rakhna? Pehle Ascylus aata hai, Aski, theek hai. Uske baad Ascylus, Sophocles, and Euripides against spa writers. Sparator, Sophocles, Plato, and Aristotle. Sparator, Sophocles, Plato, and Aristotle. As, Ascylus, Sophocles, and Euripides. A, A, C, S, Q. So this is how you can remember. Okay. So these were all 30 questions that I had discussed along with explanation. Thank you. One second. Everyone, those who have watched these sessions and those who have not watched these sessions, you can watch this session later. Please visit the playlist that is MPC English Literature Mock Test. And in that playlist, you will get all the videos that I had recently uploaded. This is the day four, and good night to everyone. Those who are watching, and stay tuned with the sense. I will be tomorrow again. Please, okay. Mm -hmm. Good night, everyone. Good night, Ra, and big bro. Good night. Good night. Okay. Thank you everyone. Thank you everyone for watching this session.